Ahoy hoy! Welcome back to my channel. Today I figure I will try and review 7th Heaven's Dead Sea Peel-Off. It is cruelty free and vegan. And while I'm also at it later on in the video, I'm going to review spa descriptions, which I showed this in the video where I did a small makeup haul that was cruelty free and didn't test on animals. Um, but first, uh, let me just say, neither one of these companies are sponsoring me. So this is just for reviews and to give you guys an insight of what to use if you're looking for something. And especially if you're into using cruelty free products as well as if you're using vegan products as well. Now, as I said, Seven in Heaven is vegan and cruelty free. I've used two of these before, and I <laughs> I actually went on my YouTube channel and double checked which Seven in Heaven pill masks I used before, just to make sure I don't review the same product back to back. So I've used this brand before, and this one has chopped seaweed, pressed chamomile, and crushed dead sea salts. Um, so when I put it on, <laughs> I look like I'm developing a beard that's going gray. <laughs> um, when I first put this on, it didn't burn. There was a slight tingling, but it was more gentle, um, than a burn. But I noticed, especially when I did a first picture of me on the mask, my face was really red. But obviously the redness has gone away. So, and perhaps I'll do a compare and contrast picture for the thumbnail so you guys can see the difference at least between the beginning and now. So if you're someone who has really sensitive skin and you're alarmed by how red it is in the beginning, don't worry because the redness will probably go away as time goes on. You, this is, um, you need to put it on for 20 to 25 minutes. And I did it for like a little bit over 20 minutes. Um, and even though my skin does feel a little bit agitated, it, it's not a burning sensation or anything. Um, but th this is for normal and oily skin. And since my skin is dry typically, um, that could be a problem. But other than that, I mean, it, it wasn't bad enough where I, I felt like I needed to take it off immediately. So, um, even if you have sensitive skin or you have dry skin, um, it didn't bother me that much to have it on. So, now that I've had it for, for 20 minutes on my face, it's time to peel off the fun part. So, uh... Yeah, I think I'm going to use my camera fun for this. <laughs> I'm not going too far. I'm just going to adjust the paper. <laughs> Come on. There we go. All right. So here we go. So far, so good. It's not painful when you peel it off. <laughs> I guess it's gonna depend. <laughs> it depends how much there is on your face. <laughs> this looks a little bit creepy right now. Okay, it's not bad. I think the last time I tried a seventh heaven mask. Did I say seven heaven? Seven heaven. Jesus. I don't know where I'm getting that teach from. Maybe other than seventh. And wires in my brain get crossed. But anyway, as I was about to say. Ooh, look at that piece right there. <laughs> For those of you who like to pick stuff. There we go. I like to pick stuff because of my OCD. Uh. 
Anyway, I keep going off topic or off track, so I apologize about that. Obviously, I'm one of these people that can't chew bubble gum and what was the other thing? I, I'm not good at multitasking, if you have you noticed by now. I suck at it a lot. And again, I go off topic. So, as I was trying to say before, um, when I've had the other two, seventh, heaventh, heaven, that's why I got thrown off. I fucked up the word heaven. Um, I don't think using your camera phone's good in this situation. Anyway, I don't, I don't have one of those makeup mirrors, really. I mean, I do have a small mirror for a comb set, but I think it'll be too much. But anyway, round four of what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so when I used this aforementioned product before, um, with, with two other masks. And I think the last time I tried it was maybe 2018, 2019. I did a double check. Um, I remember it hurting more when I was peeling off. So I don't know if they changed the, changed it since then. Or I was being too aggressive with peeling it off. But it doesn't hurt as bad as it did back then. It's actually quite smooth so far. <laughs> you <a> crap. <laughs> Shit. Don't worry, nothing came out. <laughs> I didn't want to blow my nose accidentally. Let's try not. Puff away this piece of stuff that was on my nose and it didn't work quite well as I wanted it to. So while I'm doing this, have any of you guys tried the Seventh Heaven products before? I did it again. If you guys are keeping track, this is probably the fourth or fifth bloody time. I said heaven as heaven. Seriously, what the fuck? Anyway, have you guys tried a seventh heaven party before? God, after seeing this, they're probably going to be like, Nope, we do not want to sponsor you. You cannot say our product name correctly. You suck at it. Well, that's quite a nice piece. <laughs> At least for those who are into that kind of thing. And I don't mean it sexually, at least. I mean, just mean some people like to pick at stuff and look at it afterwards. And in a way, I'm calling myself out a little bit. <laughs> Ow! Okay, that's the first time I hurt myself. I think I snagged a hair accidentally. <laughs> No, you're going to take a picture. I'm just waking you up so you don't sleep on me again. Ah, get off my finger. So, if you guys did try a 7th Heaven product before, <laughs> um, what did you think of it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Were you like, eh, it's alright. Would you buy it again? Do you use it um, frequently? Tell me in the comments. I would like to know. But actually, I, 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 will, I will definitely say that peeling this off from this brand is not bad like it was the last time that I remember. I mean, not that it was painful, but like, um, it was just, it was a little bit painful when I pulled it off. 
But like I said, it could have been me doing that, being aggressive, because I have no, absolutely no fingernails. So I have to really get in there sometimes, and I think I pinch a little bit more than I intended, just to make sure I get a grip on something. And honestly, it's it's not a. Some of that get in my hair. Come on. Um, that's ah, still there. Go away. Get a piece. Of... Uh, where was I going with that? What did I just say? <laughs> uh, um. Oh yeah. Uh, don't. Try to get this in your eyelashes. Well, yeah, obviously that's obviously because you don't want it too close to your eyes. But like, what I meant to say was, don't get it on your eyebrows, and I think I did. Crap. <laughs> God, it hurts. Oh. I <laughs> trouble getting this off my fingers. <laughs> it would not go away. Yeah. I think they may have put something in their formula that wasn't there two years ago. Three years ago. I'm just blundering today, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lindsay makes oopsies. Yeah, multiple, multiple oopsies. Oh, wake up. Anyway, if you can, try to avoid the skin. Because it can hurt, I guess. Um, I don't know, like I said, it could have been me too. Being aggressive. I get aggressive sometimes. Oh, shit. I got in my hairline. I think I can just wash that off later, maybe. So, when do you guys typically use your face masks? Oh, lovely. Now I look like I have dandruff in my hair. Not that I care because you know, I like to pick stuff. That's a secret you guys know about me now. I've exposed myself. <laughs> for being weird. If that ship hasn't sailed already. Ugh, I'll deal with that crap stuff later. Even though I want to deal with it now. Come on. Okay. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't put it in your eyebrows. I'm almost right, finished, I think. Whatever I don't get, I can try to wipe off. No, it wasn't that bad. But I still wouldn't advise it. Only because in the process you might pick at your <laughs> your uh, hairs on your eyebrow, which is not fun. Yeah, my face is not being left very that badly. Well, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. Here, my camera photo looks fine, but like there, it looks like shit <laughs> on camera. Hold on. Make me pale. I don't know. I can't tell. I don't know. It wasn't as bad as earlier when I took a picture with it on initially where I looked really red. Oh my god. A reason 
The reason why I don't use masks frequently too is that I don't have a lot of patience to try to peel all this off. I'm a very impatient person, if you guys haven't noticed before. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start using a wipe to wipe the rest of it off. And the wipes I'm using are for are from Gundry. They're also not sponsoring me. And <clears throat> they're vegan. At least according to the vegan guide site that's in Sweden. Probably use different wipes since that feels a little bit dry. That feels dry too. But it feels a little bit more moist. Of course, my skin's probably going to look red now because I've been using a wipe to get it off. But I like using wipes. I'm very sensitive about what goes on my face, depending on texture and stuff. But if you have a sensitivity like I do with what you put on your face, this face mask felt okay to me. I don't know now if some of this is peel off or it's my own skin flaking off. I just don't know. Okay. Looks good, I guess. <laughs> this webcam makes me look so much worse than it is. <laughs> I, I can give you an example. Um, okay, so you guys see the way my face is on there. This is how my, <laughs> so I'm not looking happy in this, but you see how less red and, well, how less red there is in my face and my camera phone than it is on here. It's unbelievable. But anyway, <laughs> so here's how it goes. Or peelings. So, I like that one a lot. Um, like I said, didn't burn my face too much when I put it on. Didn't really burn too much when it was on it. Um, and it didn't really hurt so much when I peeled it off. My skin feels a lot smoother now and a little bit refreshed. Um, and also, if you have a sensitivity with putting things on your face, this should work well for you, depending on the severity of how badly you are with dealing with certain things on your face. So, I would give this an A+. And they didn't grade, I didn't grade the other products. They were probably like C's or B's or something. Now, <clears throat> I want to review spa descriptions. And if you guys remember from my video involving cruelty-free small home makeup that I made like a few weeks ago, um, and I'll put that video at the end of this video as well as the other two um, videos I did, did from 7th Heaven. Um, in the video that I made of the small hole involving where I introduced this, I mentioned that while they didn't test on animals, I wasn't sure if they were cruelty-free because I couldn't find any information about them. Well, uh, the, there is a company that owns Spascriptions. This is actually a brand of theirs within the company. And that company is called um, Global Beauty Care. And they are cruelty-free. Um, in fact, PETA gave them um, the go-ahead that they are not... Um, testing on animals and are cruelty free and stuff. Um, 
And you can get this for $2.49 in the United States. Um, while in Sweden, I think I got this for about um, 29 pruners. And this was basically like $29, and people are probably freaking out about that. But um, keep in mind, um, shipping shipping costs right now are very ridiculous. Um, like, so that's probably one of the reasons why the price is higher here in Sweden than it is in the United States. Um, not to mention... Um, this is fairly recent. It's not the usual case, and I think it's because of the pandemic. Um, but if you would buy this in Sweden, and I got this at Smalling, and oh, I'm going to fuck it up. The store that I bought this at, um, I mentioned it in that video, and I can't pronounce it properly. Um, but it's in the village I live in, and I will provide a link to that in the description box um, that I also have in the description box in that one vid so you guys know where it's at if you do live in Sweden. Because I haven't seen this in any other store in Sweden other than the one that's close by to me. Um, this one I got at City Gross um, in... Sweden. I've also have seen other 7-Eleven products at Ica. Um, like the Ica in Boros called City. Ica City. Um, so that's where I got the ones I tried a few years ago from. So if you want to know where to get these products, you, you know. Um, but if if you're an American living in Sweden, uh, just be prepared to pay extra because of the conversion rates. For some strange reason, and I, like I said, I think it's the pandemic causing it, as well as shipping costs, uh, you're going to pay a little bit more extra here than you would if you were in the United States. Um, so if, you're, if you want to use this product and you're an American... Try to get it here. Um, I'm not sure if you can contact the store that I got it from and have them ship it to you, but um, I wouldn't recommend um, buying it overseas and then having it come here because shipping costs are just crazy. And if you're an American living here, that's probably not a surprise to you, but I'm just letting any American, especially if you're new living to Sweden, to maybe buy it within Sweden versus get it outside of Sweden because yeah shipping costs are crazy these days um I forgot what I, I think I paid like 16 crowns for this as well as the other one um so that's like the equivalent of 16 not 16 dollars <laughs> um yeah it is wait 16 dollars I think so yeah or no 16 crowns, so that would be like one six one dollar and sixty cents. God, my math is like skewed, I think. I'm having a brief lapse of remembering how to do conversion now between dollars and crooners. Scary. I mean, I, I, I don't think a lot of my American audience lives in Sweden, but if you are an American, you are living in Sweden. Just be prepared that you might have to pay extra than normal. But, yeah. Especially if you're using a U.S. account to pay for the stuff versus using your Swedish um, account. And if you have a Swedish account, it's still uh, 29 crowns and stuff. But if you're using your American account to pay for it, it's probably going to be 20 crowns more. So, 31 crowns. So, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I think if it, I think when it's double digits in pruners, that's like equivalent to one dollar, two dollar, three dollars, that kind of thing. So yeah. Anyway, I apologize about blundering that too. I full of blunders today. Blunderlin, it's Blunder Monday. Anyway, so the funny thing is, I did try this on. I did make a video about it, but then I deleted it because. 
When I put it on, I use this thing here, my camera, to do it. And that, as we learned before, is a huge mistake because the image is, is switched. So if I'm touching my right side, ow, it's going to look like it's on the left side on camera. Or to you guys, it's going to look like it's on the left. So things are switched and that throws me off and stuff. So I didn't do that. I did... I should have used my camera phone to use it or get a mirror to look into while I put it on. And then since I had about, where is it, 30 minutes. So this is a little bit extra than the other one um, to kill um, before it was done. I talked a lot and some of the stuff I talked about, when I look back on it, I didn't think... Not that it was inappropriate, but I I don't have a filter sometimes when I talk. And then when I watch the back, I'm like, yeah, I better not post that. And I, it's not that I don't think I will get myself in trouble, but something was brought up that um, it would be better if others that I talked about knew I were talking about them in the video and I got their permission first to talk about it, as well as some other things. And... Not to mention, and I'll be perfectly honest, is that I got paranoid that someone would mistake me wearing this as doing blackface. Yeah, because that's that's the society we live in now. Um, and so, since I was worried about that, I decided to just nix the video in general. But, having said that, um, when I tried it on, it did burn at first. It wasn't a gentle tingling like the Seventh Heavens face max was and when I did peel it off it hurt like hell um I wouldn't say it hurt I don't think it would hurt as bad as that one face mask that people have reviewed before where they said it was extremely painful taking it off but I forgot the brand of that face mask that they were talking about where it's painful to peel it off but this was a little bit painful pe peeling it off it wasn't as gentle as this face mask um but, having said that, my face did feel a lot more refreshed um, when I did peel it off and it felt smooth. And I did cheat at one point and I wiped most of it off. So, I would give this maybe a C, only because of how bad it was when I put it on and it was burning a little bit. Plus, um, I was a little bit painful when I took it off. So if you have sensitive skin or whatnot, I would be a little bit hesitant to use this. But, I mean, it depends. Um, it does have tea tree... It has tea tree oil. God. The blunders today are ridiculous. Um, it helps control acne and oil, so that's one of the reasons why I got it, because I do have the adult version of acne going on. That starts with an R that I can't say properly. Rosina or Rosha or the hell it's called. So you have that. So I give that one, what did I say, a C or a B? I think I said a C. But, um, I don't know. What I might do is try this again. Um, obviously off camera. Um, and see, because I think I just put it on wrong. I got thrown off by the way I put it on because I was using this as a reference. Um, so having said that, even though today is mostly about reviewing the two face masks, I do want to point out something. Um, so when I did my worst makeover video, y'all know that I didn't seem satisfied about... Um, the stuff that I got from W7. And again, I think I was thrown off because of how uh, I use this as a reference to put my makeup on. So I felt like I failed. Um, so I tried it again if, like when I went to an appointment, I think. And here you go. That's me um, when I tried on the W7 powder as well as the eyeshadow and um, eyebrow 
um, pencil or a pen. And I was a little bit more happy with it this time around than I was during the video. Because I, like I said, I think my mood got switched off because of how, um, how the camera switched here uh, when I was putting it on threw me off and stuff and like, yeah. Um, so when I was able to try it on using a mirror downstairs, um, I liked it a lot better. I felt like I looked a little bit better. I'm still not 100% crazy about the eyebrow pencil. I think because I got a shade that's too dark. Um, usually when I get an eyebrow pencil or eyebrow pen or eyebrow shadow, it's usually like medium brown or something. Kind of matches my hair just a little bit. And even though my hair does look dark, um, it was just, it was just too much. Um, so yeah, I just want to remark about that, um, that I gave the W7 products uh, another chance and I was a little bit more satisfied with them. Now I did buy an eyeshadow uh, that was darker to use on the eyelids and I haven't tried that yet. I bought it but um, I figured that it's better to have a darker shade on my um, eyelids and then use a lighter shade that's up here, um, which is what I was kind of taught to do, especially in dance competition. It's kind of funny how I learned how to put makeup on mostly when I was in dance and dance competition. So, yeah. So, if you like this video, hit like. Um, would you use either of these products? Have you used these products before? What was your opinion of them? And um, if you subscribe to me, I'll be absolutely joyous, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.